All right, we're back with number 15, I think. Pretty sure. This one here was fun. This one here was completely really fun to do. I have Superman's legs. This Superman. Let me see here. The heavy that the in the heavy metal wave Superman. They're red. I have Superman's legs. Oh, why well, I have this up, let me show you. I have Batman's jacket. I think this is a dumb looking Batman with this guitar. Um he's a cool sculpt. This is and it's not it's not focusing. Hold on now. Okay, it won't focus. It's heavy metal Batman. As best I can get it right there. I don't know why. Glare, maybe. It's probably the glare. That is an awesome Batman sculpt without the jacket, I think. I actually used that sculpt with my Batman diorama I did a few videos ago. And this is the John Stewart body. And also, I know I keep reference back to this box, but I have to have it in front of me from my last video. See this Superman? That, that, I know I got dirt all over my hand and I've been painting still. That's all I've been doing. It's uh, doing some uh, mustard yellow there in the back room of my lizard rhino. That arm right there is that arm right there. Those boots and arm are from Superman. The jacket is from that Batman I just showed you. Heavy Metal Batman. The head sculpt is from what is it from? I don't remember. Um, shoot, I don't remember. I call him Green Hill. This is an accessory from one of the Green Lanterns. And I, what I'll do is I'll slow this thing down, stop this thing down. I also put this on a diorama. And I, I know, forgive me about not knowing the head sculpt. I, my mind kind of goes, goes blank when I do these things. I'm sure you guys know what it is if you follow DC characters. Um, and I like to say um, I love saying um for some reason. So let's get a little closer, see what I did. Let's see what we did here. Let me see. So come up here from top of the head. It's just a head sculpt from right out of the, out of the, 10 days later. All right, let me get some room here. I don't have the perfect setup here when it comes to trying to show something close up, especially when it's on something. The head sculpt is from, I, can't, I think it's from the, John Stewart. It comes with John Stewart. It's a builder figure. Yes, the John Stewart Stewart builder figure. This jacket was just black, just straight out black. A lot of good sculpt sculpt on it. There's a very good sculpted jacket for this for this. And I went with a whole bunch of silver dry brushing and silver buckles, and I took my time and I didn't paint. I, I went back here, put a little bit of green on the on the buckles back here. This is actually green with some silver brush over top. It make it look like it's a metal jet, a metal clip. All up here. This is all. This is all silver. Dry brush everything. Dry brushed everything. In here, these green pieces weren't here on his his stomach. I put those in. These boots were Superman red. I thought they were the coolest looking boots and I do have another set of these boots in the back room that I haven't used with that I think I'm going to use with a spawn at a later date. But you can see here, trying to make the duck buckles look a little worn. I took my time, went in there with some black. See, I'm really happy how this turned out. That is an awesome looking boot. Not because I painted it, because it's an awesome sculpt. These boots are awesome. If you're a collector and you like to maybe customize some of your stuff, and you you know or whatever I think in my mind these are some really cool spawn boots I bought the figure to do it and I bought the Superman another Superman to do that but I haven't done it yet of course because I keep moving to different projects and I did purposely put some dark wash in here after because I wanted the doll down the green this was opaque green up here I dry brushed a little bit up here on the top to make it look like it's worn I, I didn't want to look at really really pretty and bright I wanted to look worn and I wanted the creases to have the black in the back, but also I wanted the green to be separated from the black. Then I hit all the buckles with some silver, and the silver buckle here was really bright, so I toned it down with some dark wash. Same thing with the back, the back boot. 
it's kind of a shame this this jacket covers up these boots but you know what you can see them if you really look for them like up here i did this black for some shadowing and stuff um so yeah everything in here has been really bright and then i just went through and dark washed everything really happy how these 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 boots turned out i know i'm focusing a lot on the boots and not the figure really but i think the boots set the figure off the head may be a little bit too big for this head sculpt, I mean this body, but I think with the jack with the jacket on it covers that that up, that issue up. The legs fit perfectly onto the, the actual figure because it's a McFarlane figure. And down here, I did I did a tutorial on how to make, which is my very first time ever doing it. Tutorial how I made this ice somewhat, somewhat trying to look like an iceberg. I was trying to keep him, you know, in the in the snow because something different. All this is is uh, the hobby sand and what's it? Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and hobby sand. Now it's hard. Now it's hard as a rock. Not well. I could probably flake it off. If I really wanted to, but I kind of use different blues, dark blues, and some greens and stuff like that. And some. Uh, that's about it. Some sh try to do some shading. I did a lot of dry brushing over top of it. But there it is. I decided to make it a little different, and I cut a little piece of it and put it down in a hole. Made a hole in the top of the foam. This is just foam. See, it's just foam. That was the original color there, blue, that turquoise blue. And then I went lighter and lighter until I got to the white and stuff like that. So there you go. This is Green Hell. I call him Green Hell. I do have a tutorial on it. Let me see here. Let me go down a little bit now. I think I'll put that in the end of the video. I do have a tutorial on this guy. Really badass. So, yeah. Let me turn them on here real quick. Give you once around. I don't know. I'm not I don't have a whole lot of comparisons up and stuff. I didn't want to, you know, you Let me see here. Let me This ain't working. Okay, here we go. I know this isn't working. Give me a second. There he is. He's leaning forward. Green hell, ready to chop some shit up. He's a he's one in uh I don't know, he's just a made-up character out of the uh who was a green lantern universe i made a, i made a character make it made him look like his own character made him look who he is uh, there he is right there and like i said before and i always do appreciate i can't i can't tell you enough how much i appreciate you guys watching the channel checking out the channel and supporting me until next time i'll see you guys later thanks